everyone, today we will talk about transit Saturn. Saturn transits the 8th house. The way transit Saturn behaves in the 8th house depends on the position of the 8th house. This transit can be more prominent in your life if you already have planets in the 8th house or aspects towards the owner of the 8th house. But the basics are this. Taboo topics, responsibilities, and stakes in business matters, shared finances and everything you own along with others are on the agenda. The need for security affects how you use your power and other people's resources. This is not a very comfortable house for Saturn, and he doesn't feel the best here. We won't say it's the hardest because it isn't, but that it has the potential to change your life forever has. The strength and amount of the change will be determined by the sign. In the next 2.5 years, you will have to know the values of others, that is, learn to live with those values and assimilate them in a constructive way, how will you deal with that power? Without destroying one's own individuality. The answer is simple, you will organize joint finances, make a will and take out life insurance, explore death and the mystery of life, face your sexuality and achieve self-control. Whether all this will take place during this course depends on the position and aspects that will follow in the next two and a half years, but it probably won't because this is not a good house for Saturn. So the story goes like this, we put limited Saturn in an extreme position, a position without limits, a position in which the testing of your self-awareness will take place through all these areas, financial, sexual, psychological, and through death and rebirth. You have been overwhelmed by the overburdening obligations you have promised, and on the other hand you are losing a source of income, it is simply no longer available to you. Transformations are uncomfortable and will go deep into your personality, but the outcome is important for your personal development and that is why this is a significant period in our lives. What is the nature of your desire? Definitely, this is not a good time to start a business or new borrowing, loans. The challenge is to transform and redefine yourself to the most basic levels of identity. To face the fears you have on a conscious or subconscious level. The misfortune is that for such great changes in life, you cannot count on others for material help. What obsessions and addictions do you have? So, to every sign and every house through which Saturn moves, its influence will serve to narrow, if it is time to face your fears of death or the unknown you need to start removing some of your ideas that are inevitably going to your consciousness. This involves some sort of ritual cleansing or stripping of your old identity to make room for a new one. Fears will make you evaluate what things you need in life and what you don't. Although the period is very rich in lessons, bad news signals a time for transition and reformation. End old life patterns and let go of desires and attachments to everything that holds you back. You will become more aware of the fact that you are not living forever and with this knowledge you will change some of your attitudes, you will experience death in various ways, either real death or death of old values and ideas that you will now give up. When this process is complete, you will experience rebirth, but you must first go through death. Well, you are entrusted with the work of someone who has died, you are often at funerals, or you are personally confronted and dealing with inheritance. What are your deep-rooted compulsions? If you have any kind of addiction, it will reappear and you will have to deal with it and mistakes and bad decisions that involve or lead to debt become a problem. Saturn will force you to discipline your nature of desires and examine your emotional attachments, and if you assess the needs of your superego, you can compromise between your deepest desires and instinctive rules of your socio-cultural environment. Otherwise bankruptcy and divorce as well as tax problems could be inevitable. So Saturn's difficult aspects, or bad sign influence, damage, cause fear of death, high taxes, economic losses through shared finances and commercial commitments, and sexual problems. But at the same time, it reveals vulnerabilities and a lack of structure in the way we manage our debts and obligations to others. This is exactly the moment when you become aware of your financial, sexual, psychological strength and know how to better target your desires and shortcomings in these areas. You are often very sensitive at the beginning of transit to what appears to be pressure from the outside world that forces you to examine some of your deepest desires and attachments. 
This will happen because your desires are frustrated, you can't get what you need or want, or because you realize that getting what you want won't make you happy in the long run. Intimate Relationships Influence on your sexual relationship with your partner and intimacy? The negative transit of Saturn brings sexual dysfunctions, whether we encounter them in ourselves or in our partners, individuals experience anxiety about performance. So sexual dysfunction, difficulties in satisfying libido and other problems in the area of intimacy. But the deepest meaning of this house is the importance of meeting opposites, and you can explore this through changes in your sex life and facing the consequences of the way K use your sexual power. You may experience frustration that drives you to be more self-effacing, or you may be willing to undergo a period of celibacy to explore other ways to use your life force for healing or spiritual work. Taking responsibility in this way will help you explore the transcendent function of sexuality, which is the encounter of opposites. You will have a sense of pressure to answer these questions. To succeed, you must get rid of everything that stands in your way to grow into a complete individual. To transform and test how you use your power on each level. How to better manage resources and assets that do not belong to you and how to avoid financial problems. Settle inheritance debts. Clearing and letting go of the past, balancing opposites, and integrating fears is all preparation for the time when Saturn moves into 9 house. By the end of this transit you will feel emotionally healthier. You will get rid of some of your addictions and overcome your superstitions. You will feel more powerful because you have given up trying to control things you can't or shouldn't control, and instead you will gain a sense of self-control.